Hey guys, it's Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. I have a quick uh, lesson for you today. It's, this is not a VBA related lesson, but it is a cool thing to learn in Excel. Basically, we have two tables that have a unique identifier, the employee ID, if you will. I just made up single numbers here. But the first one is more like an employee database. It's got their social security number, whatever, driver's license number. The other one, uh, well, whatever, it has, you know, uh, person number two has multiple records. Let's say it had their, you know, daily hours or something like that. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to join them, and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to go to sheet three, and let me zoom in a little bit here. So we're going to go to the data tab, and we're going to go from other sources, and we're going to use the built in thing called Microsoft Query. And we're going to tell it this is an Excel file, and hit OK. It's going to ask you where it is. This one happens to be saved on my desktop, and it's called test123.xlsx. It's going to say, well, okay, by default, this thing says system tables uh, are unchecked, and it would say, hey, uh, uh, there are no tables found. So, but if you check this, I've found that it'll just it'll just uh, allow you to go through the sheets and take the column names so you can either pick and choose which column that you want or I just like to click on sheet one and I say that I want everything from sheet one and maybe you could just click on sheet two if you want all of them and say hey I want everything and go ahead and hit next it's gonna say blah 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 we don't know how to join these tables because we want you to tell us something so what all they want you to do is take the ID from the first table and join it and put it right in line with the ID on the other one so now they know that this is what joins them and now it smushes them together now uh, the second thing I've learned is you don't want to click save or save as unless you want to save that query for later which just tells you that you want to join by ID but what I did learn is if you click return data to Microsoft Excel then you're pretty well done so this thing will pop up and it'll say hey where do you want to plug in that information I'm just going to say put it in cell A1 and I'm going to hit OK and voila you have a joined table what you can do from that point is you can go to the insert tab and do like a pivot table based on based on this information and I'll show you some cool stuff you can do with that pivot table so let's say we don't care about the ID for now we just want the name that's on there I'll put that over here in the rows so now we have a alphabetically sorted name, a, a list of their names and not their IDs because we don't care about that. Let's say we wanted to know the social for each of these people, or you could have a column, I guess, that says their social. Nope, I don't like that. So let's put it under here under rows. And then you want to know under hours, we want a total of that. So put that under values. And uh, if it comes up as the count, you can write, you can click right here and change the value settings from count to the sum of the hours and then it would give you the sum of the hours so this person I spelled Billy wrong because I was typing really fast but that person has the total of 11 hours and there's their social um, let's see I don't know what this result is let's see what that is so it's some other field that we want to know furthermore you can go to design and you can have it as banded columns uh, banded rows you can even um, have the layout a little bit like different, like in compact form is what it is now. You can show it in outline form. You can show it in tabular form. Um, you can repeat all item labels. Do not repeat item labels. And there's just different ways that you can sort your data. Remove blank line after each item. Or insert a blank line after each item space them out a little bit there's even more uh, ways to do that Let's see column headers row headers anyway that's how you join those tables and there's lots of different ways um, that you can sort these as you see fit I'm doing this in Excel 2013 um, but this works in other versions I think Excel query came out in 07 so if you have 07 or later, this should be just fine. Anyway, Microsoft Query, pretty cool. Check it out.